All right, NFL divisional round, three-word game. I'm going to break down every team in just three words, and oh, what a weekend it was. Bengals, three-word game, Cincinnati earned their stripes. 52-yarder, as time expired, they had the worst record in the NFL their first two years under Zach Taylor, 6-25-1. We didn't know if he was a good coach, but Burrow is the first quarterback taken, number one overall, to win a divisional game within his first two seasons. Tennessee, Tana killed their chances. Ryan Tannehill, four red zone picks this year, most in the NFL, including the playoffs. Now, A.J. Brown, they have found a remarkable talent. But Tannehill, red zone, big moments, completely, utterly outplayed, letting down a defensive front, which harassed Burrow for three and a half hours. San Francisco, Jimmy O.G.'s. Lowest passer rating, 57 by any Niner quarterback in a playoff win ever. And they are the first team in NFL history to win a game in which their only touchdown came on special teams. And he didn't have a very good completion percentage through the playoffs. But I will say this. He was more daring than Aaron Rodgers. He threw the ball down the middle of the field and led them to that game-winning field goal. Green Bay, Rodgers' rate reduced. It's his second career playoff game without a touchdown pass. He got safe. He's now 0-4 against the Niners. His career playoff record, folks, it's 11-10. Overwhelmingly a favorite in those games. And Packer wide receivers not named Devontae Adams combined for six receiving yards. Aaron, build relationships. Stop being above others. Connect with people. Be a good teammate. You can throw it to more than one receiver. L.A. Rams, oh, hi, SoFi. They go back home and could play their last two games of the year at SoFi Stadium. Rams and Stafford, Matt was good, 28-38 against that defensive front. And Cooper Cup, his 12th game with over 100 yards receiving. By the way, if you're ever in L.A. on a weekend, go to a game at SoFi. It is spectacular. Tampa Bay, bye-bye Brady. He's 0-3 against the Rams since he joined Tampa. And here's an interesting note. The regular season passing yards leader has never won a Super Bowl. That was Tom. 0 for 56. Isn't that fascinating? Buffalo, all in on Allen. Josh Allen, 27-37. The Bills did develop a little bit of a running game later in the year. Um, Gabriel Davis, good for you for touchdowns. Somebody had to lose, and the better quarterback, slightly, with fewer rough, jagged edges, Patrick Mahomes, won at home. Kansas City, 13-second miracle. Four straight scoring drives in fourth or overtime to end the game. Uh, this is what they do. Tyreek Hill has next-level speed. And and what's happening to Kansas City now is not only do they have a taste for it, uh, they're really good in these spots. They're very confident. Reed knows Mahomes. Mahomes knows his targets. You know, it's kind of scary that Kansas City played their best game of the year here. That's got a Durant, Steph, Clay, Warrior feel to it. Like, we can flip a switch. Even great teams can struggle with that. Brady yesterday struggled with that. Pretty scary. I also noticed um, with only 13 seconds left, they also had timeouts. So they could go oh. across the middle of the field oh. with multiple plays. They, they weren't out of timeouts. And stop the clock. Like uh, that team on Dallas with a star. I just find it interesting that that's... That well-coached teams. That's what happened. How many games did you see, honestly... This weekend, it was a lot of them because you had great coaches, Shanahan, McVay, McDermott. How often did you notice late in games, teams had all three of their timeouts left? Mm -hmm. I mean, it was like Tampa Bay's like, we got all of them. So they could use them to stop the clock against the Rams and get another shot. 
Yes. Dallas, we're out of them. We don't know what happened to him. We drove to uh, we drove around town, and the timeouts just flew <laughs> out of the right truck. The out the and we, we're looking around for the timeouts, and we, we don't have any. But left. also, despite the fact that we know we don't have any timeouts, we're still going to call plays that you need timeouts for. Kansas City moved forty-four right yards now. in about the time Dallas had one play. With less time, less time. I mean, come on. I just noticed that they had the timeouts and that they were able no. to use them. If so your they... team is constantly a timeout short, you're probably a coach short. I mean, I'm sorry, but you all these teams this weekend, now all their timeouts left late in the game. All right, I'm done. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out more of the best clips from The Herd or go watch a few segments from other shows on FS1.